Oklahoma coach Bob Stoops has put the swagger back in the Sooner Nation. Quarterback Josh Heupel led a 63-point Red River Massacre of Stun, Texas. Coach Bill Snyder has built a Kansas State powerhouse. He turned a punching bag into a powerful bully. Today, Snyder's former assistant tries to storm the Wildcat Fortress. The elimination games are about to begin. A sellout crowd in Manhattan, Kansas for a showdown of two unbeaten, both ranked in the top ten. Number eight, Oklahoma, against number three, Kansas State. When the day began, we had a magnificent seven. Seven major unbeatens, two of them here. Right now, we are down to the Super Six. Ohio State, upset a short time ago by Minnesota. Half of the unbeatens left. Antoine Savage and J.T. Thatcher. Back deep for the Sooners. Jamie Reed on the tee. And here comes Thatcher. Makes a cut to the left. Just short of the 20-yard line. Number 14 on the season. Young man's from Aberdeen, South Dakota. Their, their athleticism is stunning, Brad. From the shotgun, they'd drop it off, complete the first pass to the running back, and Quentin Griffin. A number 22, the young man from Texas who scored six times last week against the Longhorns. Now in our Chili's lineup, you can check all of these receivers. You'll see them <laughs> all, folks, one after another. Very talented group. A high a student of the game. Studies the defense. It's a four-man rush. Nobody coming. Again, he will drop it off on low, and Griffin again makes a first down. And now OU plays with half a football field. On the split backs, they'll run Latrell for four yards. And here's the offensive line. Bubba Burcham, he is the ringleader for OU, matched against a very athletic defensive line with a couple of outstanding players for Kansas State. Mario Potafehi from Honolulu and Chris Johnson from Chickasha, Oklahoma. Second down and Hypo continues to operate right out of that all-out shotgun, fires the left-handed pass just short of the first down. Andre Wolfolk, linebackers. Ben Lieber, been around, and he's matched against the quarterback from Aberdeen, so we've got two young men from South Dakota here. And folks, if you want to see a safety who can hit, keep an eye on number 40 at K-State, Jared Cooper out of Pearland, Texas. Third down and three. OU, though, has tried to add a running attack. Here comes the all-out blitz on third down. Heifel's in trouble, and he's sacked at the 40-yard line. Matched against the number one punt returner in Aaron Lockett. They'll try to keep it out of Lockett's hands, and it does. It goes out of bounds, and now the referee will mark it. Kansas State has scored every first series of the season so far. But Scobie will be the starter. They're set in the eye. And a whistle. Prior to the snap, ball start on the offense. Five yards, repeat first down. Now, first and 15 from the goal line. Beasley, pump fake, coming down low, and he overthrows his wide receiver. Two of the best, folks. You watch Lockett, and also number five, Quincy Morgan. Both can, as they like to say, flat fly. And Martez Wesley, a good number three man, and Shad Meyer, a talented tight end. Beasley changing up at the line. Zone and tackled at the five-yard line, led by a young man, Randall Cummins, who came here as a walk-on from Cedar Hill, Texas, and is now one of the co-captains. Against perhaps an underrated Oklahoma defensive line, one you don't hear too much about. And Corey Callens has already made his presence felt in this game. On 15 yards to go. We'll see what Snyder wants to do. Tough field position here. They'd like to get a few more yards before they punt it back to OU. They'd like to control the clock. Beasley looks underneath the locket to the middle of the field, and he is short of the 15. K-State forced to punt on its opening drive for the first time this season. Travis Brown punts it out. Thatcher runs up, and he is down. Griffin. Directly behind the 
QB, and here's Latrell on a counter step to the 46 yard line. And Hypo recognizing it, chains it up. Here they come. Fires, got it, complete to Josh Norman. Now Hypo again with all the crowd noise, makes the appropriate signals, comes out from under center, down to the middle, and he's got Norman again. Inside the 25 yard line. And here's Heupel on second down and six. The draw play, Griffin, short. And then I said to Coach Stoops, talk about global warming. Here's third and six for the Sooners. Heupel, put on the release, end zone, incomplete. Timmy Duncan to attempt a 39-yard field goal. That would match his long for the season. He's 500, 5 of 10, and the 39 yarders right there. And the Sooner Nation strikes first in Manhattan, Kansas. Stems over to the right-hand side of the offensive line. Using an H-back to try and open the hole for the running back, Josh Scobie. So the David Allen checks into the game for the first time. And they send him into the pass pattern as Beasley can't find an open receiver. So he scrambles to midfield, first down, K-State. Shotgun Allen off to the left. Lockett is the motion man. And there they'll hand it off on the inside, and Allen spurts. Close to a first down. What oh, do I know? Don't forget the golfers. <laughs> That's true. Second down and one, but Purdue's already beaten them. There's that option look, and Beasley does put it in now. And out of bounds. Into the running back, David Allen. That's right. First down and 10 inside the 35 yard line. On the draw play, here comes Allen. Sprints to the left. He's carving up the Sooner defense. Bad tackling, he's down at the 21-yard line before Torrance Marshall. Did you think a little bit last week? Tried to give him back in the game condition. He's running him again. Allen spinning to the 15-yard line. Six plays, all runs on this drive. Nice matchup up there. Second down and four. Here's the quarterback draw. First down, touchdown. Jonathan Beasley, 15 yards for the touchdown. That's his 13th rushing touchdown this year, folks. One this year. Movement, whistles, fly. Four for two. <laughs> and fumble, picked back up. And let's turn it over to the referee. Happened very Offside, often. on the defense. The play was an incomplete pass. Adds the extra point, and just like that, the Wildcats, behind Beasley's leadership, take a 7-3 lead. Timeout. K-State leads it. So right now, Snyder with a little bit of the upper hand. Good looking drive against his one-time student, Stoops. Good return by Thatcher. Thatcher breaks free. 40. Midfield in a foot race. Will he go? See the head linesman. He's got him out of bounds. The trailing man sees the foot go out of bounds. He overrules. Knee is down, but he'd already stepped out of bounds. And this is not so a first and goal. Not a gimme touchdown either. Latrell pounds. Oh. Got it. Oh. Touchdown. One play later, he broke the plane. The ball free after he broke the plane. So just a little delay in the <laughs> celebration. And instead of a 95-yard touchdown return, a two high-scoring teams, and they're doing exactly that. A 
State, Michigan, Oklahoma, the traditional powers. And here's one climbing back. Good kickoff. Now first down. And David Allen, who looked very good, is in the game with the option look. Fake pitch to him. And Beasley's going down for a loss of about a yard up. Shotgun look. Pressure's picked up. Dropped by Lockett. In and out of his hands. And third down and 10. Beasley again has good time. Can't find anybody. Now the shuttle incomplete. Here's that man again, J.T. Thatcher. Fair catches the signal. At the 41 penalty flag, so the halo zone probably was violated on the. Was in the game. He got rocked. Those body punches early in the game. Ronaldo works. Is now Hypers running back. Change up in the look under center. Play fake. Move the pocket to the left. Waits for someone. Going to come deep under through and caught. And a penalty flag thrown on the play as Wolfolk. Something like that. Nice play by. Josh and Wolfolk. Wolfolk, who take a, took a lick, was shaken up on the play. Another straight drop by Heupel. Receivers covered, running room. And Josh Heupel, an efficient run, not a dangerous run. Second down. As Oklahoma threatens again in the red zone. Griffin cuts for daylight. And first down, OU. Look out. Just short of the 10 yard line that ball is. So it's first and 10. Whistle before the handoff with a Prior six to the spot. Snap, six touchdowns. Start on the offense. Five yards. Repeat the down. They flood to the wide side. Heupel throws. Wolfo incomplete in a duel with Carter, the corner. All by himself. Second and 15. Blitz coming. Drops it off on the screen, and OU, touchdown! Curtis Pagan, his first touchdown of the season, 15 yards from Josh Heupel. This is why you have to put a man on a man in modern-day football. All of a sudden, if you play off, they're going to throw the slick screen on you and walk into the end zone. And the extra point by Tim Duncan. Oklahoma 17, Kansas State 7. We're still in the first quarter. It was a kickoff return that ignited the two touchdown rally. Now K State needs a boost. Out of the end zone, Beasley will. Another key move made by Coach Bob Stoops. First down and 10 now for Beasley. Here's the draw play look, and it's Allen to the 25 yard. A big play in this game was when Lockett dropped that pass in that last series prior to that OU touchdown after the punt. And they stick right on the ground with the running game. So the end of the first quarter, Jonathan Beasley putting Kansas State up 7-3, but then Latrell, and finally Fagan, and OU's up by 10 at the end of one. Six seconds on the game clock. Runs down the line on the option. Look, oh, too much depth. That ain't gonna work. Oh, no. State. Here at State. And they ran into the punter. There's the penalty flag. It's gonna be a first down. Absolutely. Foolish play. It was four yards to go foolish, for a first foolish down. Play. He gets a first down for Kansas Running State. Into the kicker. Five yards penalty. Good defense by keeping their two safeties back. Kansas State must force those guys out. And Beasley must strike to the air soon. Morgan can't hold on. That would have been a tough catch. Illegal substitution on the defense. Five yards, repeat first down. First down and five. He's got a crossword puzzle to figure out today with this Oklahoma defense. Play fake. Got a crossing receiver and couldn't get Lockett open in time. Now comes underneath to Lazatich, the fullback, and Lazatich pulls his way 
to the OU 36-yard line. A 27-yard gain. He's now two for five here today for 36 yards. Had one drop, which should have been caught by Lockett. Pulling out a little too soon. Whistle. Prior to the snap, false start on the offense. Repeat the down. First down and 15. <laughs> Shotgun look, offensive line does great. That is a horrible pass right there. I mean, that he overthrew. Allen is flanked out. Beasley gets time. And can't release it now in a foot race. Shakes free, looks underneath. Cold, dangerous. Here's Allen through behind him. Third down and 15 at the Oklahoma 42. Shotgun twist blitz and Beasley with a great slide step. But can he find anybody? High dropped again. Oh, his receivers are killing him. A good point. There are a lot of pressure on these fellows. Travis Brown. And it's going to be downed inside the five yard line. And the quarterback Heupel, seven of nine for 103 yards. Stick with a very conservative okay. approach and uh, a bright young man who follows the game carefully. Second down and eight. Someday wants to coach. That could be a long way off. Griffin is stuffed. And now Hypo with a third and nine standing on his goal line. Rolls to the left and incomplete. And low. Lock it on the line. Comes to the right. 30. Dances out of bounds, just short of the 20 yard line. Bill Snyder is a coach who likes to get the tight end going. And OU using a linebacker to keep him sealed up and not let him out. And now they run Scooby to the 10 of the 10 yard line marker. Scooby cuts for the first down. And Coach Stoops a little bit concerned right now. Draw play, Scobie to the middle, twist to the three-yard line. Rock Cartwright is the fullback. This is from the two-yard line. There's the option, Beasley to the end zone. Beasley runs in for his second score today. He's rushed for 14 touchdowns this year. But still got it. So Jonathan Beasley wearing the number 91, honoring a falling teammate, Anthony Bates, who died of a heart attack before the start of the season. Time out. Reem. From the one-yard line, it's Thatcher again. State says not this time. Now around the 20 yard line. University. First down and 10. Bluff the inside handoff and completes to the tight end. The first time that he has hit Trent Smith here today. Second down and the seven. There the inside handoff again and Griffin to the 29 yard line. Pretty good, Gary. Third down now. There's that inside handoff. And Gino wanted the running game going, and there is the first down. Used to roll over that first down and 10. Here's Hyper. Sit still and take it deep. Incomplete. And a penalty flag is thrown. Petty had his arm hooked, just like he had it earlier when he got away with it. Still 10 seconds to go. Hyper looked at the game clock. K State bluffs the blitz, backs back out. Michael steps up and completes it to Norman. Norman in a foot race. Gets to the corner. And Norman out of bounds at the 14-yard line. Josh Norman. Hit there. Oh, yeah. I think so. They're going to work on the free safety right now. First down. Here's Griffin. And K State meets it. Here's second down. Right at the one yard line. That is Curtis Fagan who up under center is Heifel. And the power running game for the. Oh! He didn't get in either. It 
looked like he was going to break the plane. OU back on the football. Fourth down, and here they come. Touchdown, Hypo. Duncan nails it. It's an offense that doesn't let you breathe. Absolutely not. You score, and the Sooners are coming right back. 79 yards in eight plays. They lead it 24 14. All right. Here's Timmy Duncan. Morgan going to come back to the middle and down. Well, we told you that Northwestern. <laughs> First down now for Jonathan Beasley. Pulls it back. Great time goes deep. Meyer intercepted by OU. Picked off by Roy Williams. And Williams delivers a hammer blow on the far sideline. And now Josh Hyper attempting to drive them again. And he is sacked. The only way to stop. Yard line. The only way to stop. And you also. Sure. And the old Southwest guy. Yep. That's uh, lots of these folks remember him from that. And Antoine Savage. This is third and 14. Straight back angle. Got him. A catchable ball. Tough to stop. You got to put him on his back to stop him. Griffin, seven touchdowns in two weeks. That one, 17 yards out. There's not a lot of Oklahoma fans here, but they're making noise right now. 30 points on this defense. Duncan nails another extra point. The crowd right now, you would describe it as a stunned, subdued Kansas State crowd. They can't believe anybody coming in here in less than one half and putting a 31 spot up there on the scoreboard. Oklahoma scored 35 back in 1996, and they got 31 in less than a half. Now Morgan on the right side, seizes an alley. Powers through to the 35-yard line. That's the biggest problem that K-State has got. Two of nine. They blitz it. And Lockett finally holds on. And after K-State went ahead 7-3. Beasley straight back. Checks off right. Gonna okay. keep it. And he uh, slides. Third down and one. Uh, and K-State uh, powers close. ahead. Oh, he went through. Came out. The other end. Beasley. But was it whistled down? Tackled at the 10-yard line. Everybody else is standing back around the 45-yard line. at the spot. Beasley goes in. Was he stopped? Boy, I guess if the whistle blows, the whistle blows, right? 137 to work with. Him the short they put trips over on the left-hand side. The short pass. Here's Morgan spins. Morgan is tossed out at the 41 yard line. So 127 to work with. Up out. Giving him the short pass to the outside again. K State wants something to build on. Three man rush, and here's the screen. Penalty flag is thrown on it. Lock it. So on the penalty holding, brought way back. First down and 20. Beasley rolls right high. Incomplete. Sooners show blitz, and here they come. They want to set that screen again. And this is Allen dancing off a cut to the 45-yard line. And then, of course, they were beaten by Purdue in a bowl game, and things were not quite the same. Beasley backfires high. And they can't make the catch. Of the JT Thatcher back deep. And it'll come out of the 20-yard line. Only twice before in history. 
think? What do you think? So there it is. Oklahoma unbeaten and rolling into Kansas. They lead K-State 31 to 14. Tim Duncan. Back in the end zone and uh, we're going to take a knee. Second thought was a wiser one. Penalty flag on the first play. And teams. And this time it goes against OU. They're first and five. Meyer a stand up and uh, again there was movement in that neutral zone and Beasley jumped. Offside, defense, five yards in the previous spot, first down. Okay, State 30 with the first down. Motion lock it. Here's Allen. Couple of yards. Calmus number 20 right there. Short drop, a little bit low Short and incomplete. Pass. And they throw back into the middle of that time. High, fair catch, Thatcher, at the 20-yard line. 12 for 15 by Heifel in the first half. They can't let him throw. He's too good. Griffin on the inside handoff and defended well by Chris Johnson. They lead it 31 to 14. Second and 10 for OU. Blitz coming. Watt is picked up. Fire is complete, and then it's juggled out of bounds, incomplete. And then Mason's alma mater. Maybe he'll wind up in Pasadena. Heifel on the oh, blitz, and he just drops it off inside to Griffin in a foot race. On first down, Heifel comes one. Picked up. Off his guy each time. Blitz. And he drops it off again. Battling for a first down is Quentin Griffin. Spends hour after hour in the videotape room. Study. Gonna bring the end around and it breaks wide open for Fagan. Penalty flag is thrown. He's out of bounds at the 31 yard line. Lockwell all the way. It's very foolish. That thing would really force them to bring the all-out blitz. They can't get there with just the front four. Crisscross. Heifel going to throw back incomplete. The one team out and beat the other one in overtime, so all is good while coach has been away. Second and 28. Here's Griffin in a foot race, and he's tucked by Warren Lock. So K-State has been bringing the heat. But Josh Heupel has been able to get rid of it and find an open man, hasn't turned it over. Here he comes again. Dances right. And he's got another reception on the sideline. Oh, no. And breaking through is Savage. Down the sideline. Touchdown, Oklahoma. 74 yards on a little dump off from Josh Heupel. Conceding, dropping it off. Savage takes it. Bomb, won't it? And the neon flickers again. 38 14. Kansas State had won 25 straight at home. Folks, that streak is in deep trouble. Timeout. This is career long. At Oklahoma, this one's coming out on the 20. That was embarrassing. First down and 10. They haven't been able to tackle on defense, and they haven't been able to catch the ball on offense. So they'll toss Allen. And Allen with a good gain and a first down. Option look. Beasley with a late pitch and no chance to do anything there. Second down at nine. Unbelievable how fast the secondary is closing. Wesley has to come in to check with the quarterback. And he's going to keep it and try to run for it. He didn't get it. No first down. It'll be fourth and short. Fourth down and one. Ah! 
first down. All right, Leslie, thank you. Indeed, it is the Vogue. Everybody doing it, some with more success than others, we might add, and Scobie going nowhere because of Torrance Marshall. Second and ten, and Beasley has got to pick up some big chunks here. So. Good. Short of the first down. At midfield, he's a young redshirt freshman on the KC team. Here's that option look, and uh, Beasley twists to the 46-yard line. And that's all over the side. Play fake. Now Beasley goes downfield. He's got Morgan. Morgan out of bounds at the 17-yard line. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Beasley on a play fake. Look at Enzo. Got a man. Deflected in the complete. Had Lockett behind, but Derek straight. Scobie. Play fake. Beasley. And the young corner shows you how he can defend the run. 5-14 in the third. The blitz. Beasley fires behind Morgan. Had him on the slant. He would have scored if he'd have laid that one out. So Jamie Ream. Mike Ronzik the holder. It's a 38-yard attempt. Three points closer, but Oklahoma in command. 457 left in the third. Unbeaten Oklahoma, 38. Unbeaten Kansas State, 17. And Reed with the ball on the tee. Comes Thatcher again. And he'll be down at the 21 yard line. Well, down <laughs> 10. Griffin stop. The game they punted and Kansas State scored. They have to be careful not to get too conservative. Good blocking and Savage the receiver. And so Jimmy Wrestler filling in very capably. Well, with Larry Cam, our director here this afternoon. And again, a hypo pass is caught. That's Josh Norman. But you're not going to be Kurt Warner going 60 feet to God. I'll tell you, here's a toss to Griffin in a foot race. Three Wildcats, and we go nowhere that time. Brent, the, I have to do a lot and of One thing, Gary, I think about Hypo, though, he throws the most catchable pass that I have seen this year. Very soft ball. We're going to bring the end around now this time. Savage getting to the corner with all that speed, and he's down uh, near midfield that time. Our buddy from Honolulu, uh, he hasn't been on Hawaii 5 0 and Forcer today. They split right up the middle on him that time, and Griffin is down. Second down, and four. Nine men in the box. 75 gets double teamed. Gets help from the linebacker down for now, folks. Again, nine men up there. Here comes the blitz again. Eiffel in the foot race going down, and he gets it off incomplete. Milton Proctor. Look at him get that off in the teeth of that rush. You know, the other thing that we haven't mentioned. Good move in the hole that time to the uh, 26. We're talking about Fair, isn't it? Michael Kane, of course, coordinator for the. Oh, that's holding. Yeah. On Meyer. There's the fly. Him. Linesman's yeah. got him. He was going to catch it from straight. Well, they picked it up. There <laughs> we go. Third down. The blitz coming again. Beasley almost intercepted on the release by Roy Williams. The sixth punt of the day for Brown. And he only putted 19 times prior to this game all season. Fumble! K-State may have jumped this one. Bloodthirsty Gary Danielson wants more. <laughs> wants to run it out on Bill Snyder. Well, 21 points, but I'm going for the one more touchdown. And ABC Sports presentation, College Football Returns, after this message and a word from our ABC stations. <laughs> Controls 19 of 25 for 282 yards and two touchdowns in a foot race and going down. Didn't fool anybody. Chris Johnson in particular with every conservative here. Throw the ball down the field if he does. In a third and 26 for a touchdown. This time he takes it off and he's whacked again. Five
fumble on the snap. And still, he gets it off. Now Lockett. Nice run down at the 28-yard line. Quarterback draw okay. to the 31-yard line. Tech. We're on second down. Beasley with a quick fire sideline. Morgan breaks free. Foot race. He can flat fly on a cutback. Morgan goes the distance for K-State. 69 yards from Jonathan Beasley. Still a football game, Brent. I always say that fourth quarter lasts forever. Now it's 14 points. And the 69 yard touchdown re-nails the extra point. That's why Oklahoma needed to go for the kill and throw the ball. 38-24. Kansas State with a life in Manhattan. Right back with the ball. Mackey. Down at the 22-yard line. Oh, now, was it against Kansas State? Yes, uh, it was against Kansas State. Personal foul on Kansas State. Yeah. 15 yards from the spot of the and ball. you don't need to do anything for the end of the run. Brings it out to the 37-yard line, improves the field position for Heupel and the Sooners. And that's on Savage. Forcing Kansas State to bring the pressure. Here it comes. They're on him. Down on the sack by the safety, John McGraw. Third down and 16. Hypo throws nowhere. Monty Beisel, number 44. They come and block it. They swallow a touchdown. Kansas State scores on a block punt. Terrence Newman. It's swallowed up the ball. The same guy that had the personal foul. Make it a seven-point game. He does just that. Oh, yeah. Do you think the coaches are in a little tense on both sidelines right now? Hello, ball game. These games last a long time, don't they? A lot of time left still. Coming out on the 20-yard line now from behind the end zone. We lead down to seven right now. They have kept it in the air. And they are going to stop now. That's their personality. And he spots Curtis Fagan. Michael back. Takes a deep drop. Got his man complete out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Yard line. In the round. Norman. Out of bounds at the 44-yard line. First and 10 inside the 45-yard line for Stoops. Savage, the motion receiver. Here they come again. Lott couldn't get there in time, and it was Savage to the 36-yard line. He understands managing the time on the field. Been battered and beaten and still thrown for 321 yards. Halfback option pass. Receiver was out of bounds. It's intercepted. K-State intercepts it. A gamble. And it backfires as John McGraw intercepts Ronaldo Works halfback option pass. For an OU fan, you're entitled to question that decision. First down and 10, and now K-State will try to take advantage. Now on the main man. Second down and seven. Short drop, Beasley's got his man, and this time Morgan lets it go through his hands. And it's all hands on deck as he stays on the field. And Beasley wants to set the screen in the middle. Morgan bounces and down at the 16-yard line. Well short. Bangs it. JT from the 38. To the 46-yard line. 
23 of 29, Gary, 321 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Inside shovel pass, Griffin, well defended that time for a loss. Second down and 11. Wide open, juggling, out of bounds. So, I tell you, Kansas State has not changed up their defense in about 25 plays. It's man to man all over the field. Here comes the blitz. Hypo gets it off, and the bigger wide receiver able to pull it down that time. Josh Norman yanks it down because of his side. Two seconds left. You gotta hurry. They get it snapped. Blocked. Incomplete. Second down. Changes up. Still plenty of time on the game clock. Down to seven. Middle. Got him wide open is Fagan. First down. Out of bounds at the 12. For Hyper through the air today. 26 of 34. This is 35th pass and caught in heavy traffic. Savage ball on the Wildcats 11 with 552 left. Hyper. Norman again. And he's out at the six yard line. Latrell is right off to the side of him. Back in the shotgun. Looking to throw, fires, caught, and that could be, should be a first down. That should be first and goal. And we're in the Super Bowl. They did that. The only chance to win the game is to get the ball back. I kind of like that defense myself. <laughs> Heifel starts off under center with a split back look. That's Griffin 22 to his left. Here he comes. And he's not going to get there. He didn't get there from a split back look. Okay. And now, Last week. third down. There's the option. Look, here's Griffin, and it was beautifully defended. It's a field goal situation as John McGraw. Never a block kick could turn out a stadium. This would be it. It'll be a 24-yard field goal attempt from the left hash. Good. There's the 10-point lead on the 24-yard field goal at 327. Right now, if you're Oklahoma, you have to decide that you know Kansas State will be throwing the ball on every down. 327 now, and Oklahoma. Wow, what a lay. Well, that is a great lay. Yeah, it? that's against the win. Wow. Coming out on the 20-yard line. Become one of the fab five, if you will. We're about to lose our second unbeaten. They blitz, but there was a whistle. Delay a game. Kansas State, five yards. Still first down. It won 25 in a row here in Manhattan. There's a fake, and Beasley draws time, goes deep. Morgan, some bumping incidental, and the ball was out in front of him. Absolutely. They have to be Texas, Nebraska, Kansas State, and one of them again. So Scobie, and short of the first down, Snyder. They've got Jones coming out and playing a little bit of center field. Morgan uh, drops Jordan. another pass. Story of the game right there. <laughs> Quarterback draw trying to get the first down, and he didn't get it on fourth down. It's Oklahoma football. Tech played Thursday, guys. Oh, yeah, they're already they in already. the win column. Yep. Woody Danzler at the beginning of the year was talked about by Clemson as being moved this, last this football. This is back-to-back -back fabulous performances. Let's, let's think about this for a minute. Never had to gamble throughout the whole game. Third down, and of course, the first BCS ratings. Will come out on Monday. Then Lieber in on Quentin. A 49-yard attempt by uh, Duncan to make it a 13. And there's the fake. Patrick Fletcher. And uh, boy, that's very surprising. <laughs> Hopefully. There's <laughs> uh, Beasley sprinting. And he has it complete inside the 40-yard line. Beasley. A lot, he got to put a lot on it. It's a long throw. This ball was up in the area, could have been caught. Just a little bit low. Three wide receivers off to Beasley's left. 
And he throws back to the tight end and going nowhere because number two, Oklahoma back here with the final seconds ticking away. And Oklahoma to stay unbeaten. They come into Kansas State. And on the final play, they intercept it. Ball game is over. And Bob Stoops quickly across the field to see Coach Bill Snyder. And brother Mike coming across. Shaking hands with some of the players. These fellas know each other real well. Josh Heupel, player of the game in anybody's book. 29 of 37 for 374. 104 points in two weeks, I'd say. Josh Heupel now has thrown 118 passes without an interception. Our final score, OU 41, Kansas State 31. ABC Sports is online at ESPN.com. Keyword ABC College Football. So long, everybody.